Last week, I started experiencing a sharp pain in my stomach, kind of a little up higher, and it was very centralized. And after a couple of days of that, um, finally decided to talk to my doctor about it. And this past Thursday, um, we did an ultrasound and found that right where that pain was, there was a placental abruption. So that means that there was this sack of blood that was building up between the wall of my uterus and the placenta. And it was just partial, so uh, it hadn't actually broken the placenta and made it fall off of my wall, but it was kind of on the way to doing so, or that was the fear, the concern. Uh, so for several days, I rested, took it easy, and the plan was to look at it again today at the doctor's office in an with an ultrasound and see how it was progressing. And I was watching out for everything from bleeding to contractions. And the risk was is that if my placenta came off, baby would stop getting nutrients and oxygen and we would have to immediately, you know, deliver her. So we've told friends, family, uh, Eric and I have been praying and uh, we just prayed that God would heal it, um, but also just that we would have a peace. And I just tell you, you know, I didn't feel like I earnestly prayed for healing on my own. I just, I just knew and I had a peace that God was in control. Uh, and I kind of had accepted like whatever path he would take, but we knew he could heal. We knew that his, I mean, he would work all things out. So um, this morning we went in for the ultrasound and uh, did the ultrasound, waited for the doctor, and she walked into the room with pieces of paper in her hand and just stared at me and was like, it's gone. <laughs> just, it's gone. <laughs> and she's going over these papers and she's confused and she's asking me questions. She leaves, she goes to talk to someone else. She comes back in, we talk some more about it. She leaves, she goes to talk to more doctors. Eventually they've gotten doctor's opinions. They've gotten these two sonogram technicians, the one that took one last week, the one that took one this week. They're all just staring at these images as there's this big, blob of blood like a fluid in one and then in the one today there's nothing and what I loved was that sh they just kept saying this that doesn't happen like it, it doesn't go away it can't disappear like I don't know what happened and uh, I was kind of in a daze and then began to realize through at two hours being at the doctor and calling all these people I'm like oh my goodness I just a miracle just happened a miracle just happened so we are so excited I just wanted to share that story with you I am overwhelmed uh, it's nothing that I feel like there's just nothing that was done I just feel like God just graced us with a beautiful reminder of his love and his healing and his protection over me over baby Stelzer over our family and I just want to say a huge thank you to family and friends who prayed for that healing on our behalf. Like, your prayers were answered, and I just want to reassure you of that and encourage you of that. So that's really been the past week for us. Um, and this week also, starting today kind of, um, or I guess maybe on Friday, Eric also started working for North American Mission Board. That was another huge blessing. Uh, he is working for um, the SIN team, so it's basically for uh, the church planning side of uh, the North American Mission Board here in the Kansas City area uh, and for the regional director. And he's doing all the stuff that he's really good at, connecting them with people, doing social media, marketing, uh, just sort of serving as an assistant to uh, the director here. Uh, over the states in our area and he's loving it and it's it's part-time work he can do it from home it's just a huge blessing and they totally support us with church planning and our vision and um, so just two awesome blessings <laughs> that we're just soaking in today and just receiving God's affirmation of our calling and affirmation just of his love for us <laughs> it's wonderful um, so I hope you're encouraged today thanks so much for watching our week in review and we'll talk to you again soon.